I am Gabriel Agno. It is the year 2050, and I remember I was a 10th grader at Mid Pacific Institute, and I was in the MPX 10, um, the MPX 10 program, and many of the skills that I've started grooming while I was in MPX have helped me to succeed in the world so there have been two skills that I've used most in humanities they were both time management and just plain old being resilient first I'll talk about being resilient I remember this one project I was writing a spoken word poem I learned to pick myself up and say like every time I got a critique I said okay or I will do better next time no talking back because talking back will get you nowhere resiliency is key to change your life or to succeed time management was one of the hardest concepts I will ever talk about because I was never perfect at it and I am still not perfect at it now I always got carried away with things that didn't have to do with school like my friends watching TV and just being lazy keep your studies at the top of your priorities prioritize school over everything else another class I wanted to talk about was STEM you need to put in a lot of effort in your in like making labs and they're definitely the deciding factor of my grade in the first quarter and first semester when making a lab you need to make sure that everything is detailed especially the diagrams this will prove about how much you know about your experiment and how it works because you need to label each and every part of your setup because they're equally important throughout all the tests and as a systems analyst it is really important for me to be detailed in every diagram I make. I always wondered why I didn't get the grade I wanted. I used to turn in things complete but they were not always on time. You need to keep finishing strong to turn in assignments on time. You just need to get them in on time and you could always make them up later. Applied Digital Media was a class with limited work. I remember one assignment I've done was the magazine we had to make. We needed to create a magazine. I think the strongest part of our magazine for us was our ability to compare our pictures to our article and our selection of our pictures. Keep on creating things that complement each other and making them aesthetically pleasing because pictures that complement an article those are one of the things that make a magazine a magazine. When you think of photographs, they're worth a million words. When selecting a photograph, you need to take into consideration if the photo will be easy to understand when compared to what it's supposed to be showing. For the audience to figure out what your message is to the readers, you also need to have good word choice and it has to be a detailed article. When you do that, the reader might want to read more and I'm sure your message will get across to them. In applied digital media, there was a POL assignment in the first quarter. It was to make cyanotypes for a chemistry and conflict project. The key factor to finishing these prints in a timely manner was patience and attention to detail. I didn't have that patience or that much attention to detail. When we were printing the cyanotypes, you cannot get overwhelmed or frustrated if it takes too long. Not just for printing them, but just with basic schoolwork overall. Don't get too worked up when things are not getting done. If you freak out while printing a cyanotype, like I did, 
and take it out of the sun a minute early, even a minute early, even a second early, the result might not please you and you might need to start over again. And then you'll have less time to work and finish your project. So my tip is keep calm and move on. And also, as a high school student, this is just a tip on the side. As a high school student, there's so much stress that eventually builds up over time. And there's some instances where you need to just get away or throw all the stress away while doing something out of school, extracurricular. For some people, it is sports or even sleep. But for me, I think I was always... A musical kind of guy for some people people didn't like music but again for me it was music I started playing an instrument called the viola in seventh grade and through high school I started to relieve all of my stress I joined the Hawaii Youth Symphony and I would have rehearsals every weekend for two plus hours. This would relieve all my stress because after I'd get done with rehearsal, I'd be so tired that I'd forget all of that baggage I'm carrying on my back from the previous week. Sometimes just dills off. Whether you continue your hobbies like music or not, Find a way to relieve all your stress so you won't become much of a nervous wreck when you come back to school the following week, the following Monday. That is one of the best things about my high school life and I hope it can help you. And it is about 7.42 right now and... The mission time ends at 7.43. Um, so, before leaving you, I wanted to say, live good and prosper. And I hope you, my 2016 self, can have a good future with these skills I've talked about today. I am Gabriel Agno part of the US military operation blank space it is 743 thank you